Basic headers and footers. When you have a document that you'd like to put something at the top and on the bottom of every page, we call these headers and footers. Headers will appear at the top of every page, footers will appear at the bottom of each of your pages. You will only need to enter the header and footer once and then it will appear on all pages for you automatically. Within this document I can see that I have three pages. So I'm going to enter a header and a footer once and will see it appearing on every page. Let's start by inserting a header. It doesn't matter what page of the document you're on, go to the Insert tab and then go to the word Header. Clicking on this, it will bring up a list of built-in headers that you can choose from. So these have to do with styles, so you can go down through the list to choose a style that you like. Or you can go with a completely blank header and footer by coming down here into the option Edit Header. I'm going to go with this one as it's the most basic, so I'm going to click Edit Header. Here you'll see that it's brought me into the header section of the document. This is in the margin where we weren't allowed to type before. And now I can simply type what it is I'd like to appear at the top of every document. So, for example, I might type in the words word exercise. I can highlight this text and format it like any other, so I could go into the Home tab and I could make it bold or italic, I can put a line under it, I can change its colour and so on. For the moment, I'm just going to centre this so that it's in the middle of the page at the top. If I look at the top now, I'll also see I have a brand new ribbon and it's called the Header and Footer Tools. Clicking on the Design tab here, I can see the different options that I have when I'm inside of a header. In the header, I just typed text and centred it, so now I'm going to click on the option to close the header and footer, or I can go into the main document itself and simply double-click. This will also bring me back into the main document. Notice that the header looks greyed out. That's just to show you that it is part of the header and not part of the main document. When you print it, it doesn't have that greyed out effect unless you've actually changed the colour of the text to grey. Double clicking on word exercise brings me back into the header. Double clicking on the main document brings me back into the main document. So I've entered the header once and as I scroll down, I'll see, however, that the header is in the top of every single one of my pages in this document. So let's do something similar now with the footer. Most of the time when we talk about putting in a footer, we're talking about putting in a page number. So again, I go to the Insert tab. This time I'm going to go to Footer. Again, I can choose one of the built-in options or I can go down here into Edit Footer and it brings me into the footer section of my document. Here, instead of me typing something, I'm going to use the Design tab. Within the Design tab, I can see that there's an option called Page Number. I'm going to, in the current position of my cursor, insert a plain number. I'm going to highlight the plain number and in the Home tab, I'm then going to centre it on the page. It's important that you don't type the number one in. If you type in the number one, then it will show the number one on every single page. By using the Design tab and inserting the page number this way, it knows that it has to change the number on each of the pages. If I highlight the number that I've inserted, in that same drop-down menu, there's an option to format the page number and I can choose, instead of numbering them 1, 2, 3, for example, I can choose Roman numerals or I can choose A, B, C as well. I'm going to leave this as 1, 2, 3 and press OK. So once again, I'm going to close the header and the footer or I can double-click to get back into the main document. So on page 1, I'll see the number 1 down here, but as I scroll, I can see on page 2 it says the number 2, and on page 3 it says the number 3, and so on. If you want to delete a header or a footer, once again go into Insert, 
And in the drop down menu for each, the header and the footer, there is an option to remove each. So here I can choose to remove the header and here in the footer drop down, I can choose to remove the footer. There are more things that we can do with headers and footers and we'll look at these features in our Word Level 2 course.